you're really into civics or Japanese cars, Kanjo, drifting, then definitely this is a game worth trying. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Jared. Um, today I thought I would do a review um, of this game that I purchased a few weeks ago on Steam called Kundrazoku. Um, so it is sale for nine dollars. I think there was a sale when I purchased it, and it was like four or five dollars. But essentially, what you can see here is it is a game styled on Kundrazoku style street racing in Japan. And a lot of the cars um, and screenshots you can see here uh, look like they're taken from some like the one gun loop or um, that type of overpass highway street racing with civics and other cars. So it hasn't been out long. See it came at the end of July. There's already been a few updates for it. And it is only an online uh, game. So we'll just start it up. Alright, so this is the game. So you can see my name's Jared. Obviously, you already know that. And it's an EF Civic that you start with. I also have an EG Civic hatch. And it's 620 horsepower. You can see it's red. It's pretty much modelled off the Civic that I have uh, in the garage at the moment. So you can see you have money, obviously to do stuff, and a uh, player rating, which depends on you racing in the game and avoiding the cops. So they're the main two things. You're either racing on the loop, um, you can drift, they have drift tracks, which down here you can see there's streets or tracks you can go to. And when you're on the street, you can avoid the police, um, which gets you up levels and earns money. So in the car shop, these are what you can pick from. So you got EGs with B16s, you can get an all-wheel drive one, which is what I've purchased. MX5s, EK with B16s, you got 86s, Integra... Um, Japanese Integras with B16s, not B18s for some reason. Um, SR20, S13, CA, S13, which for some reason has more horsepower than the SR20. Not sure why. Um, Fairlady, R32, GDST. R32 actually with an RB25. Um, 34, 25. FC, FD, GTR, another GTR, and Supra. So there's not many cars. You've got 21 to pick from. Once you have your car, you can tune it. So you can change things like the rear bumper, different choices, um, or tail lights, no tail lights, no headlights, wing. And engine, so you can do engine tuning. So you can change the exhaust, gets you a different amount of power. You can um, do cylinder head tuning and you can see it changes the horsepower and torque there. Uh, wheels, so I've got quite a few wheels to pick from, not that many. Um, the main ones, tires, a couple different tire looks. Um, and suspension, so you can slam this thing if you want to slam it. Um, you can add a heap of camber if you want. And you can just make this thing like as hot boy as you want. And paint, so you got all different colours. You can change the wheel, whatever colour you want. Um, there's different liveries you can pick from as well. Um, and it, yeah, it all does, it all does cost money, by the way. Um, I might have, my face might have been covering the price there. <laughs> Settings, really basic. There's no, you can't change the resolution, the aspect, 
you can't use a game controller and you can't use a wheel it's all keyboard WASD or the arrows up and down or 8462 and you can choose between manual or automatic gearbox and you can shift up and down gears using shift and control and uh, one thing is the game didn't even have the controls in the settings so I had to ask the other guys online how to actually shift gears okay so there yeah there are my two games my bank my rating so you can like I said you can go to the street or you can go to the track so we'll go to the street so that's the EF that you start with it's not really that fast and here you can see you can change between manual and auto I'll just switch to my Civic, other Civic. So this Civic, I've fully upgraded everything. Took me to get to that point, probably took about an hour and a half worth of game, gameplay. So you can see already it's much faster, spits flames and stuff. And then these people here, they are other people in the game. And the cars in here, there's not that many different um, brands or makes of cars. There's a police, so we're in a cop chase now. So you can see there's this bar down here. It'll start to progress as you get away from the police. And then once you've filled that bar, um, you actually have escaped the police and your rating goes up and you get some more money as well the car's not like super easy to control another police uh, and then our our rating goes back down again so every police chase you get in and you successfully escape the difficulty of getting um, away the next time it's more difficult if you get caught you have to pay money so you lose your money oh shit and this is how you get caught you get stuck behind two buses So there's an online race happening soon so I'll join that hopefully I get away from the police before then so the other way to make money on the game is to join races And you can see there's eight people in this race. And I've escaped the race, which is good. So now we can just cruise around and this race should start in 27 seconds. If people join the race or they drop out, then the time resets itself. You can also 1v1 race people, you can make your own groups of racing, you just need to pull up to people. And see there's a police here, so if I overtake him now then I'm going to get into uh, another chase. It's going to be more difficult, um, but my rating's going to go up, if that's the case. So up to 12 people, 13, that's good. 14, 16. 17, 18, wow. One night when I was playing, there was like, um, probably about 30, 32 people in one race. So the more people there are in the race, the more money that you can win as well. So you do earn money depending on the position you come in. And even if you come like seventh or eighth, you can still earn money. Alright, here we go. 
Let's see all the people bunched up here. Oh, we had a good start. These guys are crazy quick. For some reason I have crashed out. <laughs> so that's pretty much um, the Kanjo loop. You just go around and around and around the same thing. Avoiding the police, street racing, drawing with your friends. No, and I forgot to mention you can change your character here um, to all these lovely hentai ladies, um, whoever you prefer. The other part to the game is the tracks. So there's three tracks here that you can pick from, and this is where you can do drifting, you can form trains, you can play with your mates or your girlfriends or whatever you want to do. So it is really quite simple here to drift. You don't even need to use the space bar. Um, and for some reason my all-wheel drive Civic can drift this easily, which is a bit unusual. Oh. There's another guy in a EF. Oh, oh geez. And another EF. Whoop. It's relatively easy, but I mean you only have WISD to to use for drifting. Okay, so that's pretty much that track. Go to the next track. So it's very, very similar to the first track. And last one's a little bit different in design. I guess you could say it's like a traditional Japanese um, style with cherry blossoms and those bridges. But they're all pretty much do the same thing. Oh, someone flipped their car. <laughs> jeez. Oh, jeez, this is a massive long drift. Oh, they hit the wall. So you get the idea. You just go around and around. I don't think you can make money here unless you're challenging other people to races. Um, but I haven't really done many races here. I've just been spending most of my time on the loop. So, that is the Kanjo game. So it is very basic, there's not a lot you can do, um, but you can play with your mates online which is pretty cool. Um, there's always people online which is good because you know some of these games you go online because it is an online game and there's no one playing. So there is always people online, there is always races and you can uh, play with the police if you don't want to be in those races. and. The amount of modifications and cars is pretty good, but I would like to see more cars added in the future. 
um, and I would really like it if they had like Xbox controller um, ability in the in the future and also if you could use a steering wheel and pedals that'd be really sick and a few more options in the settings for like graphics and like the actual control options because I didn't know how to shift gears because uh, there's nowhere for the control configuration also if you could like change which keys um, you're using as well it'd be really good but overall for the price it's like I think it's pretty good value maybe after an hour to two hours you might start to get a bit bored because it's a bit repetitive but I think for what it is um, I think it's pretty good if you're really into civics or Japanese cars kanjo drifting then definitely this is a game worth trying um, if you have any questions or any comments if you like this sort of content please put uh, your comments down below like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next video Cheers.